you alter something if you're a beginner sewer or trying to get into sewing. So today I really want to alter this little set I picked up because the skirt is the tiniest bit big in the waist, a little bit longer than I would like for my leg. And then the top jacket part could also be brought in maybe a little bit. You see the top fits well, but I kind of want it to fit more like this. So my plan of action is probably going to be bringing in the back darts and the side darts, maybe the front darts. We'll see how they go, how much I need to bring them in. Too big, it's not too baggy, but I think it would be a lot cuter, just a little more fitting. The skirt part, as you can see, is getting very like sad secretary right now, but I'm going to want it to be like a little bit more like cool, classic 90s. So actually, like I was saying, I think the fit on the waist fits pretty well, but this like, sorry, this has to be chopped. This is what I'm gonna go for, and this does have kind of like an invisible hem at the bottom, like you don't see that specific hem mark. So this I might cut to where I want or fold over and then do a kind of like invisible hand stitch hem that I've done before. I've done it on this little skirt, which used to be even probably longer than this one, but the pattern really helps and you can almost barely tell. I don't think you can tell at all. Let's get into it because if I can tailor my clothes, any of you guys can. My household, we do not have a dress form, so this is how we're doing it. So I put the top on inside out, a little box of pins here. So I'm going to go ahead with these back darts first, which are these two seams here. I'm going to take some pins and pin it in, which if you just take that in a little bit, you can see it's going to start bringing in and fitting the jacket a bit more. So I'm going to pin these and then try it on back normal, not inside out, see how it looks. It's fitting a bit better now. I might stitch with a tad more, but I always like to take it a little, little bit and then if I have to take it in more later for it to be a tighter, I'd rather do that than have to seam wrap everything out by making it too small. Then I'll also have to decide if I want to rip these heavy um, shoulder pads out, but they're just kind of tacked in there so they'd be easy to take out. And then for the skirt portion, I'm probably just going to take this skirt, which I really like the length of, and pin it to where it matches up with this one, and then I'll head that across. You can see I have the bottom pin now, but the shape is kind of still big. I think I am going to bring in the back darts. I'm not going to bring in the waist very much. If anything, I'm going to bring in this portion on each of the pre-existing parts. Then it'll kind of fit in the sides a little bit instead of having to rehem the entire side portions. Or that's what I'm hoping will work. All right, so it's two days later now. I have finished the little set, or I still have some like threads and little things to finish, but here's the reveal. I have no words. This is the finished little set. I love it so much. I love it so much more. Like I knew it fit well, but I knew I think it fit better. It is so cute. It marks off so many things in my style, like 90s classic. I'm so proud of myself. So I'm just really, really excited. And I can kind of walk through again what I decided to do if I changed anything. So on the top, I did put in the two kind of darts on the back. So I really like the I really like the fit that it gives it now. As you can see with these two here, just sew them on like the existing back seams, and they make this lovely. So I'm probably going to make them smaller or nicer, but if anything, I'm a lazy sewer. I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to this. As long as it looks good on the outside, you don't need to see the inside. And then for the little skirt, it is now a mini skirt. I tried taking the back guards, but it just was not working. So I ended up taking in the sides. Still did that invisible um, hem by hand on the bottom. You can kind of see um, where my stitches are, but you cannot see where my stitches are here. But like I said, I'm so happy with how this turns out. I hope it helps motivate or show you guys what you can do with secondhand or thrifted clothing, where you can start off with something that's a little ugly. It was a nice oversized fit, but it's obviously more my fit. But let me know if you guys have any more questions about what I did or any advice on how you could kind of replicate this look with some of your own items. And otherwise, follow along for more secondhand fashion content.